Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are going to be building a Combine Harvester. If you don't know what that is, it's a big piece of farming equipment that runs out in like wheat fields. It's got a spinning blade on the front that cuts down the wheat, and it sucks it up, processes it, and shoots it out the top. There's a like a big chute on the top, so... I talked about in my last episode doing some sort of big piece of farm equipment, so I figured this would be the right thing to do. Uh, like I said, this goes along with the whole theme. You can see in the background all my other farming items that I've built. So, yeah, I figured this was a this was a pretty fun episode last... Well, this was a fun thing to do last time, so I figured let's go ahead and continue it and continue to build on to this world. Uh, there's going to be a couple issues on this build that I can see arising. Um, one being, I'm trying to keep it as authentic as possible, so everything's going to be made out of metal. And anytime you make anything out of metal on Scrap Mechanic, it it's going to be, of course, really heavy. And this is a pretty tall uh, piece of machinery, so it's going to be interesting to see how all that works. Uh, hopefully that turns out good. But besides that, I just want everything to actually work and function. And of course, when I say function, it I don't mean that I'm going to actually be cutting down grass or you know doing stuff with fields. I just want it to actually look like it's working, so... Uh, Anyways, we started the base here. I'm cutting out the uh, where the big wheels are going to be. I just need to have this, you know, kind of mapped out. That way, I know what I'm working with. And then next, we're going to build the. Uh, we're probably going to move to the cock uh, the cockpit next. So uh, let's go ahead and go here. All right, I think that's going to be. I believe this is wide enough. Uh, uh, something I've been kind of preaching in my last couple of videos. I know I haven't always practiced it. Uh, when you're building in Scrap Mechanic, now that we have the paint tool, if you plan on painting your build, go ahead and paint it as you're building. It will save you a ton of time at the end of the build. You won't have to, you know, get in all these little tight spots, but... Yeah, that's just kind of a word of advice for uh, anybody that's building in Scrap Mechanic. And let's see. That looks pretty cool. Uh, these little front points that I built, this is where the, uh, I guess the blade and all that, the spinning blade's going to hang off of. It's going to need to be able to move up and down. Like up when you're not using it, and of course you can move it down almost all the way to the ground when you're uh, going through the uh, field. So that's what that is up there in the front. Let's go ahead and paint the back. Uh, I'm going to just build a, uh, it's going to be really pretty basic. It's going to be a big shell on the back. I'm going to leave it hollow. Uh, I'm going to try to save all the weight I can. Uh, on the big body, there's a, looks like doors that open up at the top. I don't know if that's just to give it more storage area. Um, if somebody knows, please comment uh, in the comment below. Uh, I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about once the build's done. But I, I'm not. I'm kind of curious as to what that's actually used for. But uh, anyway, so let's uh, continue up here at the top. Put the lights on. Paint this up, and then we uh, should be ready to go to the body. So let's see. Yeah, that looks good. All right, one thing I noticed, uh, which, let me see, is that cut out? You know, I don't think I need to cut that out anymore. Uh, I need to build, like, a walkway over to the uh, cab. A lot of these will have, like, a walkway on one side and a ladder that hangs off, so... Let me go ahead and place the uh, front suspension on this side. That way I know exactly where it is. It, from what I'm seeing in a lot of these videos, the... Uh, Front suspension, like none of that actually turns. I think it. I think the thing actually turns off the back. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna make everything turn off the back. So let me go ahead and get these into place, and then we'll go uh, build the walkways. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure this is right in the middle. Uh, how many up did we go? We went up. We went up two here. So. You know, I really wish, uh, now that I have that really big cockpit up there, uh, it would be nice to see, a uh, like, those glass blocks. Because, I mean, there's just, there's it's a really open, like, a lot of these are really open, so, I mean, it would be really nice to have that piece. Let's see, let's aim that out that away. There we go, that's already looking pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, I can't really give it too much more shape. Uh, these things are really big and boxy, so uh, I'm going to try to do little things here and there. That's why it kind of looks like it's actually not attached. It looks like there's a big tank setting on it. Uh, kind of made that indention right where the base and the uh, big tank meets. So. 
Uh, color wise, we're gonna try to mix it up a little bit. I, I want to keep the whole whole theme that I'm doing with the John Deere. So it's still gonna be black, yellow, and green, but. I just want to make sure that I can try to mix it up. That way it just looks like a big green block that runs around. So uh, We're still going to do the uh, yellow stripe. I'll do that on the side. Let's go ahead and paint the seat yellow. That looks cool. I'm, it looks really cool, but I'm really worried about it. Once I look at how big it is, I'm worried that this thing's going to either not drive or just something's going to go really wrong with it. But, uh... Uh, let's let's stay positive and hope that you know, I'm wrong. So let's go ahead and put that walkway in uh, while I'm thinking about it. I'll put like a handrail on the side of it where you can't fall off, and then I'll put a uh, I'll just put a a ladder. Uh, it, you know that would be a cool piece to have in scrap mechanic. Something or e even if you could make it yourself, uh, that would be really nice to be able to like have some sort of ladder because. Uh, you know, a lot of builds, if you build them up really tall, you, you want something to climb. Instead of having to build stairs to everything, it'd be nice to have, like, a ladder. Uh, a lot of times, if you have, like, big builds, I'll just use the lift to, you know, put yourself on top. But, I don't know, that, that would be a cool piece to have. So, maybe we'll get that in the future. Let's see. Let's grab uh, let's grab some pipes, all the little pipe pieces. That could be the piece for the ladder. Let's see. Yeah. I think for like a handrail we're gonna use probably not that let's let's just use this one and let's see I've got some neat ideal for the blades in the front I'm I'm gonna kind of see how that's gonna work uh, I'm thinking there's like this staircase railing that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna try to put four on there and it should look cool when it spins so uh, that's kind of my plan for the front. Let's go ahead and continue with this and paint these handrails. Man, I really wish it would paint the whole thing, but it's just something that Scrap Mechanic does and leaves the silver. Is that far enough out? Uh, let's add one up to the top here. Uh, I'm building the front piece here. Uh, I'm going to put a bearing on each side. I, I think I measured it right. I, I placed a couple of the uh, staircase railings together. Together, I'm going to fit two sets on each side and I'll have them spin together. It makes it look like they won't be touching. They won't look like they're connected, but they should be spinning at the same time. So it, everything looks like it's whole and it doesn't look like it's all funky or I'll, I'll just make sure they're all on the same controller. That way we're going the same speed and Everything looks like it's really coordinated together. Let's see. I think the railing will set on the end of this pipe. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it sets on there. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, this looks pretty good for the front blades. And we'll just have another set on this side. Uh, I'm worried. I don't think this front piece is going to be too heavy. Uh I was a little worried that the controller, it seems like sometimes if you build, I think I had this problem in my uh, amusement park ride where I had a controller set up and it was supposed to lift the ride, but it was too heavy and I had to like throw a big counterweight on it. But I don't think this front piece is going to be that, I mean, it's going to be heavy, but it's not going to be that heavy. I don't think we're going to have issues there. At least I hope not. But yeah, that looks cool. We'll, uh, we'll probably paint the blades yellow uh, just to try to break up the color a little bit. Um, let's see. So that cuts it down. Uh, I'm assuming normally in like the real one, there's like a, a piece back here that it either sucks up or it kind of just goes up into the uh, body to uh, process. So, uh, I see the, on uh, some of these pictures, they're just like these little points. And I think these kind of either sort them out or guide them into those. Uh, maybe there's like some holes or something in here. So I'm going to place some uh, I'm gonna call them teeth in here and we'll uh we'll place like the slanted block or let's see which one is it uh, this one we'll place this one up there and it make it look like it would kind of feed the uh cut weed up into the up into the body so I'm thinking something like that I know it's not completely even uh, I had to put one on that side but uh that should be okay that looks good Oh, we're... I really wish they had an end piece, like a corner piece for this pipe. This handrail is going to look a little funny. Uh, let's see. 
you know, some of these don't even have a like a a handrail on this side anyways, but I kind of want to keep it matched up, so we're going to we're going to keep this. Let's see, paint it black. Uh I need to paint the floor in the cockpit black. Uh, I don't have any way. That's like going to be the only way to really separate it from the outside since I don't have like a glass block and I'm not going to put a door on it because the doors on these things are normally uh like glass. So I'm going to leave, I don't think I'm going to put a door on it because it, it just would be pointless. Like it would morally like hinder the vision of the driver in the first place. So let's just, uh, we'll just keep it open like this. But uh, I'm going to kind of build a dash here. Let's go ahead and paint the floor black. There we go. Let's get around the other side. I'm excited for this thing. I hope this works. Oh. Looks like I painted the uh, bottom there. We'll have to fix that. Let's see. There we go. That looks cool. All right, boys and girls, moment of truth. Uh, I'm going to hope, hopefully this holds together and actually lifts the uh, blades up. I This is going to be one of those things where if it doesn't, I'm going to be really, really, really not happy. So, uh. Let's see. Okay. What we're going to need to do here, let me go ahead and place some buttons. Uh, I'm going to need four. I'm going to do four controllers. One to make the blade spin, one to lift them up and down, one to open the top chute, and one to uh, move over the... Well, I guess I'm going to move over the chute. I'm going to open up the top hatch. I don't really know what the hatch is for, but uh, I see it in the video, so I probably better do it. Uh but yeah, this looks cool. Looks like everything's hooked up here. Let's see if I can get up this things. Uh, I, I might need to make this ladder a little shorter. Uh, but yeah, if I sound any bit tired or anything, uh, I had a really screwed up work schedule, and I'm recording my video a lot later than normal. Uh, so yeah, but you know, I really want to get a video out for you guys. Uh, Friday, I normally have a video, so. Uh, it's not that I feel obligated, but it's just something I, I really want to do, you know, for you guys. It's And plus, it's just one of the things I, I love doing. I mean, it's just, I love what's happening with the channel. So, you know, if it just if I sound tired, if I sound out of it, it's yeah, it's a little bit because I am. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't affect it too much here. But yeah, let's see. I'm trying to figure out, I also have, I'll, I'll have a, like a little video of this, one of these har harvesters going right now, just to make sure... Uh, Make sure I'm looking at everything right. Let's see. That's the position it should be when it's not being used. And this should reverse it down and put it into use. And it works good. I've, I'm not seeing any issues. It lifted it. And yeah, that's good. That's really, really, really good. Okay. Let's, uh, this other controller here, I, I'm going to just put them all the way. Uh, once you turn the button on it, they're going to spin the blades now it's eventually going to stop. Uh, I guess I could hook this up to like a, maybe an electric motor, but I need to be able to control the speed here. So uh, it's going to eventually stop. Uh, it's just something I'll have to deal with. You'll just have to reactivate the blades again. But yeah, we'll kick those up all the way, and I want to make sure these things are uh, synchronized. Uh, I want them look. I want it to almost look like it's a whole piece, uh, even though there's a little gap in the middle. But uh, let's. Let's get that and maybe slow it down a little bit. I don't need it to shake violently. Let's see. That should put them in sync. So what we're going to do, we, let, we go down and we... Oh, didn't hook that up. There we go. Oh yeah, it works. It looks good. They're going together. It looks glorious. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am that that thing is working. But... Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next thing. Alright, I need to delete that. Uh, I'm building the chute. Uh, I first used the uh, smaller pipe, and that just that wasn't enough. That was definitely not big enough. I think this pipe should work. Uh, just got to paint it green, and it should swing out to the side. But, yeah, I think we, we're in business here. I, I just got a little bit more to go. All right, folks, there it is. I believe she is ready to go. 
Everything's all painted. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything. There's the blades up in the front. You got the huge body. There's the chute in the back. It should swing out to the uh, side. And let's get up on this thing. I, I didn't want to place the ladder any lower, so I'm going to use the lift to just kind of ease myself up onto it. And let's see. Let's go. It's saying I had to drive it into place over here, and it it drives it drives okay. Uh, I have it turning off the back wheels. It kind of does this weird swing. Um, actually, I think I might have it reversed, but regardless, it does this kind of weird swing, and, and you almost have to let off a little bit when you really want it to cut. So it drives a little funky, but most of the videos I've seen, I don't know if these things are like four wheel, like they turn on all four wheels. Uh, but most of the ones I've seen, it seems like the only ones I've seen, like, I've only seen the back wheel going left and right. So, uh, I'm thinking that's all it actually turns off of. But anyways, let's, uh, let's find a field to position ourselves in and just kind of run it and show you what it looks like, you know, completely in motion here. Uh, let's see, this, this field should work. So anyways, we're going to get ourselves in position here and... We'll open the chute. Like I said, I don't really know what the purpose of the chute is. Uh, I've got to reopen it here. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. I don't know if it's like gives it more room on the inside to store. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I made it on mine. There's what it looks That's the position it should have been in, in when we were driving around. But this is the ready position down here. Uh, let's see. We start up the blades. And let's get moving. Oh yeah, forgot to, uh, that chute, when it curves out to the side, you would normally have like a diesel beside you with a big trailer and you'd just be, uh, you would be shooting that off. Either that or they might actually store it in the body first and then eventually just spit it out on a diesel, but I I've seen it like both ways. I've seen it where a diesel's kind of just cruising alongside and I've seen it where he fills up first and then goes over and dumps the, uh, dumps what's in the body here. But yeah, I, I mean, this is a this is a cool build. I'm gonna need to build a bigger barn to store this in. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna store it in, but um, I plan on definitely adding on to this whole little area. This is this is cool. I, I really like this. Uh, you know, it'd be cool if some of this equipment would eventually you'd be able to use some of it on, on the survival mode or whatever the heck's gonna happen there. But uh, yeah, man, that thing. I don't. I, I don't know if that shoot that shoot might poke out too far. I don't know. I think it's fine. Should be good. But yeah, we are definitely got some thing, cool and exciting things coming up for you guys. Uh, of course, as, as always, we're going to continue to play Scrap Mechanic. All the updates, all the exciting things. Uh, I'm still, I've got a huge list of your, your guys' builds that you've suggested. So I've got plenty of things to go off of. It's just, you know, finding all the time to get around them. Um, it's like one of those things where, like I said, I do work a full-time job. It's hours kind of suck. They're hectic. So, uh, but anyways, we've got that. Got some other things planned. Got some other games planned. Finally, I think I'm gonna actually get around to recording for other games. So, uh, that of course will not interrupt the scrap mechanic schedule. That's gonna stay constant. Uh, that's that's the thing that made my channel. So that's the thing that we are definitely gonna continue with. And I'm just I have too much fun with this game. This is ridiculously fun so uh but anyways if you'd like to like that video uh, like this video like any of my videos subscribe any and everything helps it's very much appreciated if you want to comment below with more suggestions or anything or if you just want to say hi i mean it's, it's just cool reading through the comments and i like to go through them and comment back at you but anyways hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys next time